go. All right. What's up, guys? Coach Ben here from Rocket Revolution. Um, currently four days out from the Leadville Trail 100. Um, it's, if you're not sure, it's a really iconic um, endurance mountain bike race. It's been going on for a really long time. This will be my first time doing it. Uh, it's definitely something that's not um, my specialty, so I want to make sure I'm really prepared for it. Um, the race, uh, the lowest point of the race is 9,000 feet. The highest point is 13,000 feet. So really kind of um, gauging your effort is important. So going with an important plan. Um, also nutrition is really important. So I like to tell all my athletes, it's really important to have a plan, um, you know, I'd say up to a week out. Um, and the reason for that is because when you get to race day the day before you're really stressed um, And it's very easy to just be like oh, I'll just fill my pockets and go um, I really like to suggest putting in writing exactly what your plan is that way It's, it's just easier to stick to and you know exactly what the plan was um, If you go in without a plan um, and the event doesn't go well You can look back and say well, I didn't have a plan or if you did have that plan and it didn't go well You can tweak it easily so um, this is what works well for me. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work um, perfect for you. So always talk to whoever your coach is. Um, also, we're not sponsored by any of these products. These are just the products that I really like. Doesn't mean they're the products you have to use. Um, all right, so my plan for Leadville, um, my goal is roughly seven hours. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, and that's, so that's what I'm planning for nutrition wise. So I'll start, it's a 6.30 a.m. start, so I'm gonna start with no breakfast, um, just because I don't, I don't wanna start with, you know, loaded down with food. Um, so I'm gonna start with 30 ounces of water with an element pack in it, which is a gram of sodium, um, about one hour before the start, and then I'll take some ketone IQ um, right before the start. Uh, and then basically my plan is I'm gonna have one person out there supporting me. He's gonna be at the Twin Lakes rest stop. So I'm not going overboard um, having, you know, four, five, six people out there supporting me like a lot of the pros do. Um, so I'm gonna kind of carry a lot of my stuff as I go. If I was out there really wanting to try to, you know, maybe win my category, I would have someone at every rest stop, but we're gonna forego that. Um, so it's gonna take me two and a half hours to get to my first rest stop, which is at mile 40.8. Um, so I'm be starting with a 70 ounce um, U-Sui pack. I really love these things with 120 grams of scratch. And I'll start with three of these performance chews, which are 30 grams each, and then three SIS gels. Um, and then at two hours and 30 minutes, we're gonna get to the Twin Lakes rest stop where I will grab two water bottles that'll have 80 grams of scratch mix, and then three more gels three more chews, and then I'll take a little single serve of ketones as well. Um, so from there, it'll take me two hours to get back to the Twin Lakes rest stop. And during that two hours, uh, it's the climb all the way up to Columbine, up to 13,000 feet. Um, so that's why I'll just be taking only what I need, um, the, just the two bottles. Um, so then I get back to Twin Lakes at mile 63, where I'll grab two more bottles with 80 grams of scratch, and then two gels. Um, that'll take me 45 to 60 minutes to get to my last rest stop, which is Outward Bound, uh, which is mile 78. At that point, I'm gonna grab um, another u sweep pack that'll be full with 120 grams of scratch, two more chews, two more gels, and then a third and final bottle of ketones. Um, from there, it'll take me two hours to get to the finish. Um, if for some reason I'm really you know, not doing well and I'm, you know, add a couple hours <laughs> to my finish, I can always stop at that last rest stop and restock on, you know, more supplies. But my plan will be to come into those rest stops, uh, grab a mu set so I don't have to stop, um, or just grab the hydration pack um, to save a lot of time there. Um, so basically, by the end of the day, I'm gonna end up having 20 scoops of scratch mix, 10 gels, 10 of the precision chews, and three servings of ketones. Uh, so what that works out to is 125 grams of carbs per hour. Um, a lot of riders are really daunted by that. They're like, holy cow, like I have like 20 grams an hour. Um, 125 grams works really well for me. I've trained my gut over the years during training to be able to do that. Um, 
most people can't just go and do 125 grams with never doing that amount of volume. So uh, definitely work up to that. I would say 125 is probably the top end of what most pros are going to be doing. Again, you have to train your gut to be able to do that. Works really well for me. Um, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post them and we'll reply to them and wish me luck. See you guys.